What's up everyone? Richard here from Nexus Corps bringing you an unboxing video of the latest booster set of Tri-3 Next, which is a special booster containing three clans, the Oracle Think Tank, Royal Paladin, Gear Chronicle, starring our main characters, Chrono, Tokaha, and Xion. So we're gonna be unboxing and see what we get. And the money card here, of course, being Searing Heart Asha. So that's the goal for today. Let's get started on this. I'm pretty excited about this set. All right. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that, our promo. So let's go, let's just jump right into that. All right, so for promo, we got foiled copy of Knight of Reform here. And for the other promo, see if I can open this. Nope, can't open it. Oh, you know what? I just noticed. The tear is right in the corner. Uh, still not very good at this. All right, here we go. We got it open. And so our first is pure, and the second being... Oh, it's just Glimmer Breath. Oh, there's a third one. And it's... Oh, Lily the Valley Musketeer. Carve it. It's not bad. Hmm. Was hoping for a, some Blaster Blade one of those promos thing and things. Oh well. So for our three promos, set them over here. All right, let's get right down to business. Start off our first hack here. And starting, we've got Rain Goal. What does this do? It's a starter. It's an Alfred, Alfred unit. Kind of weird. We've got. What is that? Maru Baru, Steam Rider Sharum, Rose Musketeer Dan, Randy, and Ro. Ah, can't read. Frieza Musketeer Rosalia. For the foil, we've got a uh, Mace Pledge. So we've got a single rare so far. So put our single, put our rares over here. Commons down. Let's get into the next pack here. All right, all right. What does this guy do? Steam fire. It's an 8K grade two. Already means it's bad. All right. So we've got next Steam Soldier, Andalulu, and Andalulu, not Andale, Andalulu. Wow, a lot of gear stuff in this pack. Uh, Smart Fender. So that's the grade one for the ride chain. And then reprint of Encourage Angel, new crit worker, and for the foil. Oh, of all the things, this. Uh, one hit, Soul Blast, one draw card. Did you guys ever get like that hot stamped foiled version of this for going to a regionals? It was not the best thing to get, but it was a... Uh, oh, what the hell? I forgot there's two foils in these packs. Wow, we already pulled a double R. Rebelli Rebellium Lily Splendorous Musketeer Myra. So if that's the case, then of course I missed out on... Primus Musketeer Tessa. So I'm sorry guys, I am not used to opening a pack that comes with two foils in it. So, future reference, gotta make sure I keep up with that. Keeping the commons over here. Let's go in the next pack, hopefully I'm not dumb enough to forget that there's two foils in each of these packs. All right, we got our Musketeer starter. We've got Maiden of Delphium. Maiden of Dancing in the Wind. Friend Kois. The Gear Cat stand, nice. We can throw these back into our uh, decks now that Urvatar is limited to one. Musketeer Heal. Okay, so for, for the first foil, we got Starlight Violinist. Not bad, not bad. And for the second, we've got, ooh, we've got the Musketeer Stride Fodder. Nice, nice. I'm gonna put these over here. I should probably organize them by clan since, you know, there's only three clans in this set. So we're gonna put Musketeers at the bottom because Musketeers are the worst. And uh, we're going to put uh, Royal and Gears right next to each other since they're pretty equal in terms. All right. Going to the next pack. I'm kidding about the Neonectar being terrible. I'm just trying to spite Gabe. Oh, I saw that. Something nice back there. All right. Starting off, we got Mania Dancing, whatever it is. Some type of Sage that works with Alfred. What the heck is this? <laughs> Avocado Doze. Huh. Weird. Another... Uh, Musketeer draw, 
new uh, new uh, gear waifu heal that uh, stride fodder for Alfred that's our first foil ooh we got crossover dragon Aww. nice too bad it's like a five dollar GR of all the GRs of pulling your packs I get the cheapest one I still like the skill though so I'm gonna consider this a personal win for me so I'm uh put that over here not bad not bad I'm already pulled my GR so let's see what else I get more avocado dude mixed fruits dragon when this is placed in the same column wait bloom when your other unit with the same name as this unit is placed on rear which is when your van goes and it gets plus 8k eh. or does this unit get plus 8k which is when your other vanguard gets plus 8k uh, that one musketeer that that one uh, Spanish kid in the anime will always rode and was like his avatar or whatever more waifu gear stuff waifu royal stuff time break dragon reprint alright our first foil single rare time break dragon and ooh we've got passion flower princess Marlena so I guess this is like just despite the fact that I'm pulling a lot of neo nectar rares I'm really liking this foiling wow alright What's the skill do? I think it's something like if you have a ranunculus on your rear and van, or if you have like four rear guards with the same name, it gets the plus 15k shield. I think that's what it does. So, pretty nice. I don't know if Gabe's gonna add this into his deck or not, but we'll find out. Let's put this, oh, huh? huh, put this in the trash pile. Put that over there. All right, going to the next pack. You guys should totally tell me how I'm doing on these box opening videos, because I am terrible at these things. Alright, Maru Baru again. Wow, reprint, green shot elf. Not bad. Uh, Steam Rider Sharum. This looks terrible. I saw the word boost. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Knight of Development Riley. Tie this unit. Choose one of your units. Nay, nine. Search deck with the one card the same as eight. Call it to air. Okay. Early game. Waifu draw. Ooh, what does this do? It's foiled. Must be good. <laughs> when this is placed on rear, do the effect of your card. If you have a Vanguard all man its name, this unit gets plus 5,000. Okay, pretty basic. Single rare foiling. And uh, another single rare. This is the other card that goes with the stride fodder for Alfred. So it's like, if you call this from the deck, um, this gets plus 5k. And then with the tax, if you have the other grade 1 on the field, he gets another plus 2. Pretty decent. So we're going to... So we pulled... Two Royal Paladin Rares. We're going to put the rest of the commons over here. Going into our next pack. Wow, green shot off right off the back again. Same dude, Raya. Yeah, I'm going to say Raya yeah, because in Spanish, two, two L's means a Y. Oh, cool. We got the Chick Folk Draco Kid, the starter for the new Gear Chronicle Ride Chain. More uh, Husbando Musketeers. More Worker Crits. Same royal dude again, and more Alfred support. So I'm getting a lot of uh, pretty generic stuff for royals. Let's put these over here. Put the rest of the commons over there. Okay. We've got Steam Fighter Nagash, Chick Folk Draco Kid, Steam Soldier Undalulu. So we got another gear pack right here. Oh, Watering Elf got a reprint. I did not know that until now. That's pretty cute. Pretty cute. Oh, cool. We got the uh, we got the crit trigger for Alfred. So if you're a grade 3 Alfred tax, you can move it to Soul Encounter 2. Sucks because it has to be grade 3, not higher. Okay, first rare, we got another Emmet Hammer Dragon. For our final, we got... Ooh, nice. We got Holy Dragon Legit Sword Dragon. I'm actually kind of hyped about this myself. Because I decided recently that I might be building the Aichi Legend deck. So this is going to go really nicely with that. Since uh, all the support seems to be focused around Alfred and uh, Blaster Blade. So, uh, yeah. Nah, me likey. Me likey. I didn't pull the money card. Which is uh, Asha. So I'm kind of bummed about that. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Still got a lot of packs to go through. Actually, I'm not keeping track of the rarities that I'm pulling. So... I'm just blindly going in through my packs. Uh, this thing looks like it's terrible. 
Scramble Griffin. Now this thing is kind of like the denial, not denial, what am I talking about? Um, what's it called? Escort Eagle, but like not as good. Uh, has to be on the field. You put in a soul when your vanguard is attacked, move to soul choose when your vanguard is attacked. Plus 10,000 to the end of battle. So kind of gimmicky. You can see why you might want to add it if you want to have some fun. We got the Musketeer starter again. More uh, Royal Paladin draws. Watering Elf again, so cute. Ooh, nice. Pansy Musketeer Sylvia. I'm liking the new alt art. I'm really glad they reprinted this card, for sure, with a different art. Nice that Musketeers are making a comeback as well. And, ooh, nice. Man, I am just getting a blessing. Oh, wait, you know, it really doesn't matter, because we found out that uh, Epona unflips damage. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, Holy Knight Guardian. You're kind of... might be getting replaced. But it's okay. We got we got a nice reprint for you. So I'm really happy about that. We got a little... We got our, our reprint's going to be Holy Knight Guardian. Really nice. Put this in the trash pile. I'm literally doing the... I hate... I'm literally doing the I hate Neo Nectar bit just to piss off Gabe because he's, he was like super psyched and also upset about the pricing about Neo Nectar cards in this set. So, again, terrible card. We got the grade one for the ride chain again. Another Scramble Griffin. Knight of Cast. Uh, when this is placed on rear, choose one of your other units with the Brave Ability in this column and increase this power than his powers. Uh, I remember someone playing against, playing with this card on area. It's kind of gimmicky. Power ups with Brave, not boosting and stuff. More uh, Weapons Dealer. Maiden of Sweet Bear. They, huh. They, I didn't know they... Oh yeah, because this card was a promo. Smart move, Bushy Road. Printing this card is a single rare in the set. People might run it, people might not. Uh, I'll just say this. I feel like it. It's my unboxing video. Um, you get to choose one of your units not named this card. Search for your card. Search your deck for the same name as that card. Call it. Turn this to deck. So it's basically helping you get Bloom off. And you put this back in the deck so you can maybe see it again. And uh, the ba the things that's not going to be the bas backup musketeer, but they want you to use it as the backup musketeer. So... Vanguard skill, choose one of your units with Musketeer in its name, look at seven cards from the top of your deck, search for up to one card the same name as that unit among them, call it to be your your deck, uh, so with some Musketeer, retired unit, this is a rearguard skill, this attack hits, pay the cost, it already has to hit, so it means it's probably not that amazing, oh, give something 5,000 power, never mind, so choose one of the other Musketeer units, give it 5,000 power, and you get to counter charge, not bad, so, uh, this, this, uh, was a, this was a Neo Nectar pack for sure, Put these over here. All right, we got how many left? We got two, two left. Oh boy! All right, yay! We got Hope Song Angel reprint. Playing when I was playing around with Alice's uh, Brave deck, I remember Hope Song Angel being the the go-to card for everything. I love the early game in this card. Sage of Innovation, Libran, another Alfred card. Tamami. Am I pronouncing that right? Choose one of your rear guards with a brave villain and he gets boost. That's really gimmicky. More waifu heals. More waifu heals. Oh, this card. Steam Maiden Isushi... Isuil... Something. Okay, I remember... This card's kind of mad because you have to pay the cost and then give another unit a skill of if it hits, so it's like if this thing doesn't hit... Kind of sucks, so kind of a mech card. And we got the grade two for the. No, it's not the grade two for the red chain. This is the. Uh, this is the card that if you have uh, Gary Exhaust Dragon in your uh, Vanguard or Soul, it gets the plus 2k. And if you choose two cards of Chrono Jets in their name from your hand, reveal them and return them to your deck, shuffle your deck, draw two cards. So if you're going to run around with that Chrono Jet ride chain deck. It's a pretty cool card and like help you get some hand, return those Chrono Jets back to your deck. So uh, this was a Gear Chronicle uh, pack right here. And for our last pack, I don't even know what our rares are. Let's just jump right into the last pack. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, this crappy card again. But yep, so we got crap. They reprinted this thing, interesting. Maiden of Delphium, so basically choose one of the units and it's regarded as a unit with the same name. Wait, choose one of your other units, and this unit is regarded as that name. Okay, so to help get Bloom off, I'm guessing. Another Hope Song, another Gear Cat, and 
another Encourage Angel, and oh, Pulsar Farm Peacock. So this is supposed to combo off with uh, Split Pegasus, where you don't have to put it back in the deck and you can still get the plus two cards. That's basically all you're gonna use it for. And last but not least, <gasps> ooh, Luminous Light King of Knights, Alfred Oath. So, you know, I've noticed I pulled a lot of royal stuff after I decided to plan on build that uh, new legend deck coming out. Very suspicious that this box followed with that. Even though I wanted to pull Asha. Oh, well. Let's read Alfred now that we're at it. GB2, uh, Journey to that gets plus 2k for G rear guard. So, generic Alfred skill. Uh, count plus one, soul plus one, choose a card from your hand, discard it. When this is placed on Vanguard Circle, if you have a card with Swordsman of Light or Blaster in the soul, you may pay the cost. Search your deck for up to two cards with different grades with Swordsman Light or Blaster in their names and call them to separate rear guard circle and shuffle your deck. Only thing about this card I really don't like is the fact that it's really reliant on cards with Blaster in their name and Swordsman of Light in their name, and a lot of the things in the Legend deck don't really have either of those except for Blaster Blade. So I don't really know if I'm going to be running this card in there. We have to see what else is coming out and also see what's coming out in uh, GBT 11 because I know that has Royal Paladin support in it as well. So yeah, let's just go over our uh, our pulls here. For double R's, we got the, the G Guard and we got Myra. For and we also got. Linear Feed Dragon, and, oops, wrong card. We've got Legit Sword. So for our double rares, we got the G Guard for Asha. We got a Musk the Musketeer G Unit. We got Linear Feed, we, and we got Legit Sword. And for triple rares, we got Alfred Oath, and, yeah, that might have been it for triple R's. Just pulled one triple R. Oh, well. And for the GR, we pulled Crossover Dragon. So, that's pretty nice, I might say so myself. And for our reprint, we pulled Holy Night Guardian. I'm pretty excited about this set. I like this box. I really like this box a lot. I liked everything I pulled so far. Didn't pull Asha. It's a sad face, but really glad I got to pull some really awesome cards. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. So I'm not really the best at these box opening things, but uh, you guys can tell me how I did. You guys can uh, leave a like, subscribe. If you want to see more unboxing content, let us know because it's not all the time we buy boxes like this. I literally did this because I felt like everyone's getting Try 3. Try 3 Seth looks awesome. And why not show people what we pull? Because this box is a huge money box for some people. Like, they can spend 40 bucks on a box and pull a $40 card. You know, you make your money back that quick. So, I'm really, really happy to have done this. Hope you guys like it. And I'll see you next time on Nexus Course.